G'day. Uh, this is my stepper by stepper circuit with a tip 31 transistor this time. Um, it's generally not as good, I just wanted to show this because it does get some really um, large inductive spikes with no resistance and you can see I have my variable resistor bypass there. So what you can see here on my scope is that's actually set to 100 volts of division. have that running up through this diode into that little capacitor there Oops. and it's just there's high voltage coming through here that my meter can't pick up it's just made my meter go crazy and it's also making my computer play up I can hear my USB port dropping in and out that might be the end of that meter it's not looking real healthy there it was showing 130 volts in the capacitor and the inductive spike was still happening. Now what I think was going on there, and part of the reason I was making my USB hub play up, is if I pick this motor up off the bench when it was running and listen to it, I can actually hear a clicking from inside that sounds a lot like a high voltage arcing happening. Alright, and even if I disconnect my um, capacitor from charging, and put it onto this run battery. Oh, it looks like my meter's come back to life. That's good to know. Um, yeah, I'll put it on that one. And this is only running from 6 volts, by the way, so I'm just charging the other 6 volt battery. And I've lost a scope probe. Now I have tried to run this on um, 12 volts and it just blows the transistor up straight away with no load hooked up to the output there. Anyway, I mostly just wanted to show that. Um, I will try putting it through an LED and we'll see if it's going to pop. Sparking there. And I will just quickly show it with a resistor. It doesn't go that great. That's about as fast as it goes, and it's really easy to stop. Oop. And that might be the end of either another potentiometer. Yep. That was the end of another potentiometer. Anyway, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.